Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Andy, an American living in Geneva, has to say about educating her children in European schools. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in Switzerland. We're here today with Andy Hagen, an American expat who has lived in many European countries. Hi, Andy, and thanks for joining us today. Hi, Anita. Well, thanks for having me. You have two boys, right? How old are they now? Right. My younger son is 16, and my older son is 18. He'll be leaving for university soon. What were the schools like? Did your children go to the local schools or to international schools? In London, the kids went to an American school only because we couldn't get them into the international school there on such short notice. But after that, everywhere that they've been, they've gone to the international schools. Because we knew that we'd be moving a lot, it was a way to keep the curriculum constant and provide them with really a global education. I had felt that when they were in the American school in London, that it was just like being in a suburb of anywhere in the United States. So I didn't feel that they were getting the most out of this international experience by being with all Americans again. So, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry, this is normal. Let's continue. Andy says her children went to an American school in London so they were not getting the most out of an international experience. What does it mean to get the most out of something? To get the most out of something means to fully benefit from something or to profit from an experience or to gain a large amount of knowledge. So being in an all-American school Andy's children did not fully gain the international experience that was available to them from living in London. What did Andy mean when she expressed her desire to give her children a global education? Andy wanted her children to benefit from their life abroad and learn many things from the countries in which they lived. In the international schools, Andy's kids had a global education. They had the opportunity to meet and share their international experiences with kids from many different countries. Let's talk about how we express age in English. When I asked the age of Andy's children, she said, my younger son is 16 and my older son is 18. In English, we use the verb to be to express age. Many Europeans make the common mistake of using the verb to have, as in, I have 18 years. But in English, we say, I am 18 years old, or I am 18. I wish I was 18 again. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, Join us at our website at www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. 
Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.